Hello everyone, this is Joe Sonic Boom here with a special toy review. Sorry I haven't been doing this in a while, but what to expect since I got school, exams, and working on another project of my films. Um, yeah. Uh, this is the, um, uh, a very special toy. This is the Tron Legacy Deluxe Life Cycle Clue. Yeah, Clue, from the Tron Legacy film, the main villain of the film. As you see, the figure is ni nicely packed up away. And here we have like a 3D thing over here. Uh, of course you can't see it because I don't have it in the correct light. Yeah, we'll just turn this around. And let me just put some... Oh shit. Uh, let's put some light over there. Yeah, it's like 3D. 3D on that side, and 3D on that side. If you like seeing both of them, it would look like 3D. Uh, if I could have a look at that little hole there. Nah. Oh well. Alright then, let's open this bad boy up. Well, here he is. Clue. As you see, he's mounted on his bike. Like in the film. Uh, very nice. If you look closely, when I move the wheel, these gears move. Quite effective. Very awesome. Um, Clue looks really nicely detailed. The arms are articulated and his head's articulated. And also, the head can pop off. You know, to swap it for another figure. I can get it off. There you go. See? Some reason the instructions are saying, saying that his head can come off. Blue has like full range of movement in the head. Um, time to take the figure out of the of the bike. Okay, this is very hard because this figure gets stuck very easily. Um, you must like open this. I think these are like meant to be the brakes or something. Yeah, that. For some reason, this bit over here. See that bit there between two orange triangles. That is such a pain to open. See. Oh wait, oh wait, that time it did, did well. And this does not stay in. Oh my god, just lift that up. And just... I'm just getting off these. What's that do with my force? There we go. Here he is. Clue. The only bad thing I'd say for this figure is the lack of articulation. Um, he only got two points in the arms, uh, one on the head, but no body articulation. It's mostly made out of rubber, or rubbery plastic. And also, there's lacking paint, especially on the back. I mean, his disc is meant to be lining up. Ah, uh, however, his head gets like full range of movement. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the bike. The only other problem with this is that the wheels don't seem to move a lot. Because they're not like fully loose. They're like, really. In. And also, what's weird, it picks up dust when it's going. Obviously, this is the board. <laughs> so, yeah, it's quite stiff. Now, let me get the figure back in and let me show you its lights and sounds. That it's really easy to get this figure back in if you squeeze the legs and like shove it right in there very quickly, otherwise, it's gonna get stuck like it just did now. Shove them right in there. Come on. There we go. Alright. Lights and sounds. Here we go. And 
Now let me just turn off the light. Okay then, let's see it go. Yeah, I guess you're wondering how I did it. I just hold that and it just done like a, like a, like a stay in mode. However, it doesn't last that long. However, when you move the vehicle like this. Ah, there we go. Oh, come on. Let me just get it working again. And a So I really love this figure a lot, especially this figure is two years old. Two years old. Um, yeah, quite a really nicely done figure. It's just that I wish they could have fixed the wheels a little bit. Um, and also uh, give Clue a lot more articulation. So yeah, he's a really good figure to have. Oh wait, slight comparison. Although sadly I don't have any other Tron figures, I do have a papercraft Tron bike from Di Fram Disney Family stuff. Uh yeah. let's just go and get it. Here is the papercraft uh, Kevin Flynn Kevin Flynn's uh, light cycle uh, papercraft. Um Yeah, both of them really do go well together. Yeah, both of them really do go well together. Okay then. So yeah, this is a very beautiful figure. Although they could make his uh, leg legs articulate, but it's a really good uh, light cycle toy. Um, I definitely recommend it, although this figure is two years old, it came out in 2010. Well, I picked it up in the um, TH Max for about £10, which is a pretty bit too expensive for a toy. I usually like to price it up to £3, I think. Okay then, this is Ghost Light Room, signing out.